Hi everyone, my name is Joy Hollingsworth and I'm a UC Cooperative Extension Farm Advisor for Soil Quality and Nutrient Management, serving Fresno, Madera, Kings, and Tulare Counties. And today I'm going to be talking about nutrient management with digester effluent. The work that I'm going to be speaking about today was funded by the California Dairy Research Foundation. I collaborated on this project along with leads Nick Clark and Deanne Meyer and fellow collaborator Anthony Fulford. The goal of this project was to document the chemical and physical properties of manure from dairies using various treatment technologies. We collected summer and winter samples from digesters on six freestall dairies in the South San Joaquin Valley. We collected five samples over the course of two and a half days to get an accurate representation. Most of the variability that we found occurred between the seasons, with everything being higher in the winter than in the summer. The summer samples were more dilute because water was used to cool the cows and the cows had access to corrals in the summer so they spent less time in the barn, meaning that less manure was collected. If you look at the key plant nutrients circled in red, you'll see significantly more potassium than nitrogen and phosphorus, so this will need to be taken into consideration when applying to fields. The nitrogen is in two forms in the effluent. Ammonium, NH4, is in blue, is immediately plant available. Organic nitrogen, in orange, needs to be broken down by microbes before it is converted to a plant available form. As said earlier, everything, including the total nitrogen, was higher in the winter, but what's interesting is that the proportion of organic nitrogen to ammonium nitrogen is also higher in the winter than in the summer. This means that the nitrogen in the effluent in the wintertime will take longer to become plant available, which will also need to be taken into consideration when applying to crop fields. Electrical conductivity, which is seen in this table, is a measurement of salinity. Most crops have a salinity tolerance below 4 dC per meter, and yield reductions in salt burn can happen when the salts get too high. Although you'll notice we had a range of readings, the salts were definitely on the high side in our samples. Mixing the effluent with fresh irrigation water can help to dilute the salt content to a more manageable level. In summary, the winter samples were more concentrated than the summer samples. The effluent is a useful fertilizer, but be mindful of the nutrient ratios. And we found relatively high salinity, so the effluent should be blended with fresh water. Finally, I'd like to thank everyone who contributed to this project. My collaborators, Nick Clark, Anthony Fulford, and Deanne Meyer, everyone who helped collect samples in all kinds of conditions, and especially the dairies who allowed us to come out and to the CDRF for funding this work. If you'd like to learn more, you can scan this QR code to be linked to a newsletter article that goes into more detail, or you can email me at the address on the screen. Thank you.